DMX has been around since the 80s for theatre and show lighting. With the advance of LED lighting, it has become very popular for home and business use because it gives smooth digital dimming and perfect control of colour change mood lighting. Recently, applications have been developed for, to control LED lighting from a PC, an iPhone, iPad and even an Android phone. This is wonderful technology. But there is one major problem. What happens if the PC crashes or your phone runs out of charge? You can't switch your lights on or off. So, LED lighting have developed the DMX merger so that you always have total manual control over your lighting system giving you the best of both worlds. The merger takes two DMX feeds, works out which one is in control and operates the lights accordingly. We have also provided an override switch which can be used for basic on-off control if required. In this video I am going to show you how to set up the DMX merger and how to use it. Thank you for watching. This is our DIN rail enclosure, which clips neatly to a 35mm DIN rail for ease of installation, like this. OK, let's connect it up. The DC input powers the merger, which I've got here, and also supplies power to the output connector. This is a 12 volt unit, so it's compatible with all products in our range. This is the 4 channel PWM output running at a camera compliant 440Hz. For the purposes of this demonstration I've plugged in an RGB downlight, although it will power RGBW downlights and strip lights. Moving to the control outputs, this unit takes two DMX inputs here and here and one switch input here. DMX1 and DMX2 inputs are both industry standard RJ45 connectors. For the demonstration I'm going to plug in our IP to DMX converter into DMX1, like this. This would be typical of an installation that uses the Luminaire app for the iPhone and iPad, or a DMX control signal from a home automation system such as the Mode Evolution. On DMX2 I'm going to connect a DMX control panel like this into here. This would be typically mounted in the room where the lights are and solves the problem of locally controlling the lights when the iPhone or iPad isn't in the house or has run out of charge or if you just want to be able to control the lights manually. DMX1 output here is a buffered mirror of DMX1 input for daisy chaining to the next DMX device. I've set the base address here to 1 just for demonstration and the options to 1. This puts the unit in merge mode. On the switch input here I'm going to connect like this a 3 position retractive switch which um, you can get from us or your local electrical wholesaler. This is an optional extra that gives the user the option of a simple on off wall switch. Alternatively, this can be connected to an occupancy sensor. So, now we've set it up, let's see how it works. Looking at the laptop, I've set this up to simulate the input from an iPhone or a home automation system. Here I have the three channels, red, which is slider 1, green, which is slider 2, and blue, which is slider 3 and white, which is on channel 4, but which isn't actually connected for the demo. Channel 5 is the command channel. This isn't decoded into a light signal, but it is read by the merger as a request to take control. This is also true of the DMX2 input. Now, if I touch the wall controller, like this, the merger recognises that it wants to take control and lets it take over. So we can switch the light to blue, like this, or green, like this, or red, 
or whatever colour we want. So, assuming we want to change the colour of the light from the iPhone, what we do is change the setting on the control channel to request control. So, movie slider on channel 5, and then your sliders on 1, 2, 3, and 4 if it's, if it's working. This gives control back to the iPhone or any DMX controller connected to the DMX1 input. This is a switch input that overrides the DMX control for basic on off and dimming. This can be used with both RGB and white LEDs. Wired up here is a retractive switch. A short press turns the lights on or off like this or a long press smoothly dims or brightens the lights to however you want them. This is really handy for a child's bedroom or as a night light. And a nice feature is that once turned off, the lights will reawaken at the last set brightness when turned back on again.